everyone. My name's Sarah Baldwin. I'm a recruiter here at the Tri-C uh, uh, Tri Metro Campus at uh, our Workforce Division. I'm here today with Ms. Tawani Hubbard. She is going to introduce herself momentarily, but we're going to talk to you today about the Tri-C Comprehensive uh, Patient Access Specialist Program. Excellent program um, for you to get into. We're going to talk about um, the program highlights, career positions you can get into, um, program cost, earning potential and ROI, and some of the job duties and key ingredients to be a successful patient access specialist. So in a nutshell, what I do here at Tri-C is I help you get onboarded. Uh, in <laughs> the most layman's terms, I would say I'm the get you in the door lady. So what I do is I go out and I promote the program, I talk to you about it, and then I can help you figure out, you know, applying, funding. I can help you with um, any sort of the stuff you've got to do to get onboarded in and enrolled. Okay, so that is my uh, job here at the college, and I'm happy to serve you. Ms. Hubbard, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Twani Hubbard. I am the program manager of the Health Industry Solutions here at Tri-C Community College. I oversee the Comprehensive Patient Access Program, the Comprehensive Professional Medical Coding, and the Community Health Workers Program. Okay, wonderful. Now I'm gonna share a slide that you'll be able to see that'll inform what Ms. Hubbard's talking about. So just one moment while I share this slide. All right. There we go. Ms. Hubbard, do you want to begin? Okay, well, basically I'll start with what is a comprehensive patient access specialist? It's basically the first person you see when you arrive at a hospital, doctor's office, or any medical admitting department. They are the advocate for the patient and the healthcare facility. As the face of the healthcare organization, patient access specialists include or they influence both the revenue um, healthcare organization and they, the patient experience. So they provide a um, exceptional, exceptional customer service um, to the patients, um, the families, and the clinical team that they support. Very good. Uh, so, uh, I see that uh, students uh, in the program are eligible to sit for the national certification exam upon successful completion of the program. That's really good. Um, so uh, as far as uh, some, some roles that, that people might do, are these all in person or can they be done remote or do you need to be an extrovert or an introvert for this or? For this program, we have virtual um, classes where you log on to a Zoom and you see all of your other um, classmates and your instructor. We are getting ready to implement a classroom setting, hopefully starting um, this coming October. Very good, very good. So I see the program cost $4,000 tuition, books, and fees, and one voucher for the national certification exam. Okay, that's very good. Yes. So I wanna add, as far as um, getting funding for that, this is considered a non-credit program. It just, all that means is that you are just focused specifically on the patient access specialist training. You don't have additional, you know, math class or a psychology class or anything like that. So the funding is gonna be a little different than if you were going for another kind of program. So funding sources include Ohio Means Jobs, we have a workforce training scholarship, um, and we have other funding sources as well. And I am always happy to help connect you with those funding sources and support you with that. Uh, and then I also wanna note, you would be a Tri-C student. So um, you are eligible to use our food pantry, our rec center, and there are just so many perks to being a Tri-C student. Uh, we always wanna make every student knowledgeable of all the resources that are available to them. And I'm always happy to help support and connect you to those resources. So that's a perk to coming to Tri-C. Not only are you getting a great education at a uh, 
I mean, I think a quite affordable cost. And then the ROI is there and ROI, like it's an acronym, just like USA is an acronym, return mm -hmm. on investment. We always want to get a re good return on our investment of time and money spent for training for a career. And um, Ms. Hubbard, do you want to talk a little bit about the earning potential here? The earning potential in the, as a patient access specialist is twenty two fifty per hour, or an average of forty six thousand nine hundred ten dollars um, in Northeast Ohio. So a pretty good um, starting rate. That's just a starting rate. So pretty good um, way to get into the industry. That's right. So being a patient access specialist. This could be something you do full on as your career. And like Ms. Hubbard mentioned, that's starting rate. So, you know, there's potential to move up and make more, or this could be something that you do. Like, let's say you want to study to be something in the healthcare field. That's going to take you several years, right? Maybe you start out and you do this to get your foot in the door in the healthcare field. And then, you know, as you're studying, let's say you want to be a registered nurse or whatever. There's, there's a lot of different pathways you can go. And this could be a job that gets you in the door and with an employer and, and you do this while you're studying um, for your you know eventual goal. So there's more than one thing that you can do with this, which makes it very appealing, I think. Now, Ms. Hubbard, you want to talk a little bit about uh, job duties that a patient access specialist might encounter and things they need to have characteristics of successful patient access specialists. As a customer um, access specialist, it's very, very important that you have customer service um, because you're meeting the patients where they are. So if someone may come into the doctor's office or hospital, they may be afraid, they may be in pain, um, just a lot of uh, different emotions. So you just have to um, have an empathetic um, heart and just um, great customer service. Well, that's, that's the kind of person I'd want to see, you know, if I'm going to the doctor and I may be feeling a little nervous, whatever, I'd like the 1st person I see to be kind, warm and, uh, you know, just have a good way of communicating. So would you say someone should be uh, an extrovert for this job or they should like working with people at the very least, right? Not necessarily an extrovert, but just, just kind, just, you know, just kind and. What we say, they have a saying is treat people the way you want to be treated, but you treat people the way they want to be treated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. I've heard that referred to as the platinum rule, mm -hmm. you know, because not everybody wants to be treated the way I want to be treated. Treat right. them as they would like, you know. So, uh, yeah, this sounds like a great, great career. And I see that, you know, part of the role is, you know, obviously admissions, patient registration, insurance billing, financial counseling, benefits verification, and reimbursement. That's all. And then scheduling, of course. That's all part of the role. Okay, very good. Well, I'm going to stop sharing. And uh, this sounds like to me, oh, heavens to Betsy, get my camera going here. Oh, there we go. Uh, but this sounds like to me like a very good opportunity um, for anyone, especially like if you're just wanting to look to get into the field and uh, you want to help people. And like Ms. Hubbard said, you got a kind heart. You got yes. a heart to serve others and to comfort them. Um, and uh, yeah, so if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, my contact info will be at the end of this video. Ms. Hubbard's contact info will be there. And like I said, I can help you with anything onboarding, help you with anything with locating funding. And Ms. Hubbard is uh, the subject matter expert when it comes to the actual coursework. Okay, so with that, I'm going to end this video. Um, thank you for your time. And like I mentioned, don't ever be afraid to reach out. We're both here to serve you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.